President Bola Tinubu has called on the newly appointed ministers to see their work as a call for service. Tinubu said these are at the council chambers of the presidential villa in Abuja on Monday when he swore in seven ministers into the cabinet. He thanked them for healing or heeding the call for service and described their acceptance as a very serious commitment. The moment is challenging. The pres present situation calls for a very serious comment, according to the uh, president. And he said that theirs was a duty to serve, and that is what they have got to do. You'll be part of people who receive criticism and abuse. Don't worry. <laughs> Stay focused. Stay resilient. Your fact will come with the history of growth and prosperity for this country. For us, it was a challenge when a nation was serving, servicing its death with 97% of its <coughs> revenue. It's not about end of the cliff. But today I can report, report to you that we brought that one down. And it's at 65 percent. We stop the scavengers. We are going to stop completely the profiteers and smugglers of our resources across the country. We are not going to run away from our responsibility. We're going to face it, and we've been facing it headlong. Those who were sworn in include Nantawe Yilwadda as the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Reduction, Mohamedou Megari Dingyadi as the Minister of Labor and Employment, Bianca Odinaka Odumegu Ojuku as the Minister of State Foreign Affairs. Others are Jumoke Oduwele, Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Idi Mukta Meila Meha, Minister of Livestock Development, Yusuf Abdullahi Atta, Minister of State, Housing and Urban Development, and uh, Suwaiba Said Ahmed as the Minister of State Education. Some of the ministers gave insight of their priority. What I believe in the ministry is that what you cannot measure, you cannot change. And that does not only affect uh, the large ruminants, that will also affect small ruminants in terms of sheep and goats, as well as pigs, as well as poultry, and all other farmable edible animals. We have a diaspora that is doing so well all over the world. And if we can partner with them and ensure that we bring them into uh, the administrative initiatives and uh, use them also uh, to forge strategic um, partnerships with financial institutions all over the world, that would in no small way um, enhance the workings and the service delivery for the, the most important thing with the trade agreement is to make sure that we go after optimizing the afcfta for nigerian businesses which means pragmatically supporting them at this time to export their products with the investment agenda it's really important that we retain domestic investment and aggressively attract new investment hello Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.